Hey, 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 what's up you guys? Gediminas here. Welcome to Financial Freedom TV. And today I wanted to talk to you about the difference between an employee and an entrepreneur. For some of you, this might be a light bulb moment or an aha moment where you will catch yourself what sort of mindset do you have. Uh, so if you're watching a replay of this video, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. And if you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, please do say new in the comments as well, because I'd love to welcome you to the tribe and say hello. And if you get value from this video, or you learn something, feel free to share it. Maybe somebody else will get some value too. And this way you'll do them a favor as well. Uh, so let me just say hi to a few people. Hey, Anna. Hey, Louise. Hey, Roberters. Hey, Regina. Uh, nice to see you guys. Hope you guys are well. Happy Saturday. Um, we're we're about to start a training here in London, but I wanted to jump on um, a live with you guys and share this concept because I think it's so, so, so important to wrap your brain around it. And uh, if you're actively building a team, if you're actively recruiting, this will also help you uh, explain to other people and maybe um, guide other people's mindset when you're presenting your business opportunity. Hey, Robina. Hey, Arturus. Uh, hey, uh, Sarah. Hey, Valentina. Nice to see you guys. Hope you guys are well. So what's the difference between an employee mentality and entrepreneur? You see, an employee is only willing to risk so much. An employee will usually will be, will be willing to risk an hour of their time before they get paid. Maybe, maybe they will risk a day of their time before they get paid. Well, maybe they will risk two weeks until the payday, right? Because most places pay you like every two weeks or something like that. So an employee will risk maybe two weeks and by that time, you better pay them, you better give them the money or they quit, right? <laughs> I can't be working without, without any pay, right? I can't be working if you're not paying me, right? So an employee has a very low risk tolerance when it comes to risking their time, risking their effort. They're only willing to risk so much before they have to see a result, before they have to see money in their bank account. If it didn't come, that's it. It's a waste of time, right? And they'll stop doing it. Now, an entrepreneur, on the other hand, is thinking in a different way. An entrepreneur may risk months before they see any result. An entrepreneur may risk even years of their time and effort before they get the reward for it. Now, they don't just blindly work for free. They're not doing charity. They understand a calculated risk. They understand that anything worthwhile takes an investment of time and it takes an investment of effort, right? And if it was easy, then everybody else would be doing it. That's why so few people become millionaires. That's why so few people become wealthy because most people are not willing to risk their time and effort for such a long time before they see the return on investment. And that's why in network marketing, in home-based business, when a person comes from an employee mentality, from an employee environment, all of their life they've been working for a pay where they get paid every day, they get paid every hour, they get paid every week, they come to an entrepreneurship, they come to into, into home-based business, into network marketing, and they work a week and they barely earn anything. They work another week and they barely earn anything. They work month, two months, three months, and still they're not even earning part-time income. And they go, oh my gosh, I'm wasting my time here. Like if I invested that month, work pounds, 600 pounds, 800 pounds for that time. I'm wasting my time with this. You know what I mean? So they, re they think that them putting this work up front and not getting paid is a waste of their time. But you see, that's an investment stage. That's when you're investing in your business. Because unlike a job, a business works slightly differently. Because at the beginning, you do a lot of things that you don't get paid for, or you do a lot of things below your pay grade, where it looks like, oh my gosh, you know, like I haven't made any money from this thing, right? And I'm putting so much time. But later, you get paid for a lot of things you don't do. Later, you get paid for a lot of things above your pay grade, right? Because you keep doing the same work, but now you're being paid £100 an hour, £200 an hour, £300 an hour. Like one of our leaders just last month made over £50,000 in profit 
like money in account, right? Calculate that. Take 50,000 pounds, divide it by, you know, four weeks, then divide it by 40 hours a week. See the figure you're going to get. <laughs> uh, trust me, that person uh, is not working like 10 people. You know what I mean? To earn 10 times more than an average person. Why? Because that person invested a lot of time and effort at the beginning. And now that time and effort invested 10 years ago, 13 years ago. Now that effort is paying dividends. Now that effort is paying above the pay grade. Now that effort is paying for a lot of things that you don't have to do every single month. You understand what I'm saying? That's the difference between an employee mentality and entrepreneur mentality. Is willingness to build something. It's willingness to risk something. It's willingness to invest your time and effort for a while, for a season, and don't get paid for it. And don't see the immediate result. And don't get the immediate gratification. But over time, it will reward you so well. If you just keep doing it. If you just keep sticking to it. You know what I mean? So that's my tip for today, guys. I wish for you to also find that entrepreneurial bone in your body and try yourself in, in, in a home-based business because it can truly change your life. You cannot even imagine how. You guys have a great rest of your day. We're about to start a training here in London. I'm looking forward to meeting a bunch of uh, great people uh, from our team and sharing some great ideas with them today. You guys have an awesome Saturday and I'll see you at the top. Bye for now.